Okay, the last video I did um, on this car was on checking to see if it had a compression leak or a combustion leak by using a block test chemical kit that I purchased at Napa. Uh, you'll recall that uh, the, the, the test fluid is blue, turned quite yellow in the last test. Okay, so we know chemically speaking, uh, we, uh, we have positively sniffed exhaust related or combustion related fumes uh, inside the cooling system, which there shouldn't be any. So uh, the thing about this car is it was a $900 car. Um, we needed to just last a couple more years. Um, uh, then it's going to be relegated to teenager duty. The headset alone for this, the, well, the headset milling the bottom of the heads because it's a V6, uh, water pump, uh, timing belt, all just all the costs involved plus all the work. And I love doing the work. I just am short on time. Going to run me about $500 in parts. Uh, I can imagine this repair in the shop would be, uh, well over a thousand dollars for for both heads. I, I don't know that for sure. You'd have to get a quote if you're interested in getting a quote. But uh, I did check into a four cylinder of late, and it was about eleven hundred dollars, quite a bit more than back in my day when I was mechanicing. So this video is going to be a product review on Blue Devil. Uh, it's a in my case a sixty dollar uh, jar of juice. I'm not so much a, a fan of mechanic in a can. Uh, nobody that really works on these things is. However. Um, the car really is uh, kind of a beater $900 car and we're just going to do a product review. If it doesn't work, we'll report back. We're going to actually, once we do this process, we're going to recheck it with the chemical test. We're going to check to see if we have combustion or compression fumes or exhaust related fumes in the cooling system. So I've done a lot of video today. I'm ready to get started on this car. So uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, well, um, we just ran a block test on this a little while ago. Um, I let the engine cool some. We're going to go ahead and uh, start it up, put water, fill it with water, and also the uh, scrubbing agent, the cleaning agent. Want to keep an eye on the temperature gauge while you're doing this. First, open your garage. Oh, looks like it just opened. Well, either that or... Head gasket pushing up. Very careful of the heat when you open these. Oh, jeez. Felt a pop in that hose. Well, that's not good. Oh, oh that's not good. Jeez, I've never felt that before. Oh, man. Okay, here's another uh, form of evidence of a bad head gasket. This overflow tank for the coolant. Uh, I should say engine coolant there. It's bubbling. Uh, can I see that? We're getting, uh, I ought to be wearing gloves when I do that. Pressure in the engine could be coming this way and overpressurizing that top tank. Did notice that this was bubbling pretty good. If I can get this thing to focus. Sorry bubbling here as well as the other side so okay we've uh, added the flushing agent to the system and we're just letting it run per the directions and we'll continue with the system flush after we do a complete cool down
I can see the water flowing down in there pretty good without that thermostat, of course. So we're going to pour it slowly, it says. We're going to add about half the bottle. It's hard for me to tell how much has been added, so... They need to make their bottle where you can see through the side of it. Yep. Okay, now I'm going to top it off with water. Oh yeah, there's good flow down there. So we're going to let that go for about an hour. Keep an eye on the temperature. It says 50 minutes. So we'll see how that works, how that goes. Okay, as you can see, it's been uh, about an hour and almost 10 minutes of running with the uh, Blue Devil in the system. And I'm going to back up here and just, uh, my shop is pretty tight. I'm going to show you the shadows. Uh, the bottle says it takes about two hours to do this process, and that's really uh, not the truth. I've been at this all day long with all the cool downs and refills and everything that we need to do. So plan on a day or two. Basically, here we're, here's where we were last time. Uh, looks good. I have not throttled it up at all. I have idled it with a cap on, like just exactly like it says. I have not cracked it open, throttled it up, or anything. So it's been sitting here idling for almost an hour and 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off here. <coughs> Excuse me. But before I do, I want to show you my temperature gauge. And we're probably going to, I'm going to go ahead and shut the air off so it doesn't get into my microphone. Okay, so my temperature gauge is about there, and that's not surprising since there's no thermostat in there, but uh, that's as warm as it ever got. So I just kind of want to document that for the video, okay? So we're going to shut it off and see how it goes. Um, let it cool a little bit. We'll drain the radiator down uh, enough to where we're not going to get any chemical in it. And, and or I'm sorry, any uh, fluid in uh, a block test. So let's run a block test here this evening before we wrap this up for tonight, okay? Okay, we've turned the car off. Uh, wanted to show you that I've uh, pulled the cap, made sure, first of all, that there's no pressure on top of the uh, radiator was there. It feels good. But I want to show you what it looks like in here, if I can capture the color. I'm squeezing the hose here. It's very blue. It's very blue. It's got a very blue color to it. There, that's probably about the best angle we can get on that. Okay, what I've done now is I've drained off uh, uh, some of the water and Blue Devil mix after it's ran over an hour. Um, there's my drain buckets down there. Whoop, way down there. So, uh, what I want to do is uh, go ahead and run a block test. Let's see what we get here, just for giggles. Um, we'll do it before the thermostat's in, and we'll do another one after the thermostat goes in, okay? So we're gonna, here we go. Okay, what we're going to do now is uh, recheck this system with a block check after we've ran it for over an hour with the Blue Devil and the water in it. Uh, shut it off and let it cool for a bit. Uh, set up the camera and stuff, so let's see uh, how it's going here. We're not going to get a lot of temperature out of it, we know that much. We'll just sit here and uh, try to see if we can detect anything. Nothing. So it looks clean so far. All right. Fill on the uh, upper hose here. Right here, over here off camera. It's nice and hot. Nothing. Okay, I'm going to shut it off, let it cool while I reinstall the alternator, thermostat, drain it. Hmm. I'd be pretty amazed if this worked. Okay, final uh, section for tonight. I've got this car reassembled. Uh, there's the alternator back in there. Uh, the Thermostat obviously is way down there. 
So I want to show you how long it took to do this today. I started uh, late morning. And let's take a look here. We have a uh, beautiful Arizona sunset. I'm looking west from the front of my house. And uh, yeah, we're pretty lucky to live where we do. We see this quite often out here. Okay, so anyway, we are going to, um, uh, let me see if I can do this without making everybody dizzy. Car's all back together, and we are going to add some coolant back in there. Up, not all the way, but we're going to run a block check to see if we still have compression gases. But the difference now is the thermostat is installed, so we should have operating temperature. Okay, so let's see how it goes. A quick tip for anybody that hasn't run into this before. If you can't see the level in here, just hold, hold it up where you can see your finger touching the side. Look inside and watch when your finger goes down to the level. It's right there. Okay, we're going to do the final block check now. I've backfilled the system with uh, straight coolant because I know there's about a gallon of pre-mixed uh, blue devil in there with water. Uh, I drained off uh, this much of Blue Devil with water mixed. Uh, when I ran it through the system, it's, not, it's been filtered. And so if I need to add any water, that's what I'm going to add. We want it to stay blue, nice and blue. This is after we've put Blue Devil in. We're doing a chemical test. We're going to snip it and see if we get any combustion fumes in the cooling system. This will tell me uh, initially whether I'm going to get my money back or not whether we have a repair. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to go check my temperature gauge, turn my heater on. When that thermostat opens, it's kind of a critical moment. We want to catch it. So far, so good. Nice and blue. Thermostat is definitely open. The uh, upper hose is hot. We have steam. We have enough coolant in the radiator there to cool the engine. It's most of the way up, but not all the way up. Leaving an air gap for us to, to suck fumes from. Nice and clean. Hmm. I am amazed. So this is a good way to test the chemical that I added Blue Devil by running this test afterwards. Clean. It's blue. Okay, uh, put the cap back on here and we're going to let it cool down. Um, and then we'll fill it up and uh, see how it goes. I'm pretty amazed at the results. Uh, prior to this, when the thermostat opened, it was pretty obvious the chemical turned yellow pretty quickly. Uh, again, um, the product is um, uh, Blue Devil uh, head gasket sealant. It could blow tomorrow for all I know, and I understand that uh, although they say it's a permanent repair, initial test results are that it's better than it was before. So we'll see how long this lasts. Again, we just need to, to get a little bit of time out of this, and uh, I'll follow up. Um, hopefully this information was helpful to you, and um, I'm, I'm a little... Uh, uh, surprised at the results myself, but uh, this little tester tool is a wonderful tool to get if you can get one if you have these problems. So I uh, hope the information was helpful. Thanks for watching.